Okay, this video is to answer the question for everybody that's asking me um, how to get licensed when you are living in Jamaica, Trinidad, Canada, right? But first of all, thank you for reaching out to me. My name is Miss Cynthia, aka the nail lady. I am a licensed nail technician. I am a licensed instructor and I am the owner of my own nail school, Stay Red Nails Academy, right? So you have to go to my website, which is www.stayreadnailsacademy.com, the name of the school. Stay, and I'm gonna put all the information in the description box below. So you click that link, you go to the website, so you can read for yourself what you're about to get yourself into. And it's gonna tell you the price of my tuition, which is $4,525. The deposit is $3,000. $2,900 of that goes towards your tuition to instantly drop it down. What the other $100 goes to the school administrative fees. When you start, you, you can pay out the remainder of the balance if you need a payment plan and weekly payments of 145 or more that's due every Friday or before. So once you start, the very first six weeks has to be done online. Everybody, the first six weeks is strictly online. We don't touch nails, stones, acrylic, nothing until week seven. So that's why I came up with a plan. Week six has to be online. That's why I load the tuition also. So you're online in this. I lost count of how many videos that's in there. You do all your homework in there, your tests, um, your theory, your book work. The books are extra, so just like any college. Your books, is, when you start, is $135. You can get the books for me, right? $135. The state board kit is made for you. I make it personally, me or my daughter. You get another kit, in-house kit with a brush, a critic monitor, a lot of other goodies in there. And you get access to me. You get access to a great education. You're going to learn nails, short nails, long nails, medium nails, feet, everything about nails so you can pass your state board test plus more, all right? You can get done in three and a half months or you can get done in four months. So the maximum is four months. So you have to come to Texas. You have to find somebody that live in Texas or make the that's make the sacrifice, make the jump of faith and move to Texas, Houston area. You don't have to buy a house here. You don't have to get no lease, get no apartment. Get you an Airbnb, get you an extended stay hotel. It's several hotels around you see i'm by a major freeway 45 the um airport is actually back that way like maybe 10 minutes 15 15 10 15 minutes to airport so there's plenty of hotels and extended states of course around airports right by my school thank you jesus right so you come here and you stay at an airbnb like i just said it's in a state hotel or stay with family and friends you have to have a texas residency meaning you got to have a texas id or a driver license. You don't have to get a driver license, get a Texas ID. How do you do that? By, if you stand with somebody, they have to take you to the driver license place here with one of their bills, utility bill or whatever, it'll tell you on their website. It'll tell you on the department of, of I think, DPS website, I think it's, that's it, with the driver license website. It'll tell you what to bring. I think it's just the person you stand with approve of one of their utility bills or whatever they ask for take you up there they're going to sign an affidavit saying this person yes is staying with me in texas it, they ain't ask you how long it, it ain't their business you can just stay here for three and a half months or four months and leave but you have to do that to get your id here in texas you have to have a high school diploma i don't care where you graduated high school from it doesn't matter if it's in trinidad or wherever i need that or a, or, or a transcript if you don't have that, you can't enroll. That's Texas law. So you got to have those two things, Texas ID and a high school diploma anywhere or, high, or a high school transcript. You register with those things on the website. It's gonna ask you on the website to upload a picture of those two documents. You have to have a social security card. I have to be able to verify your social, your social security number. So if you can't find the card, if you give me that number, I'll be able to verify it. But try to find your social security card right you have to be able to when you come to texas go to cvs walgreens you're going to have them take a i tell them you need a passport picture you don't need a passport you just need a passport picture i need to have that passport picture of you to put in your folder and that's how you register if by if for whatever reason you hide it from the government whatever i don't know you don't have debit card to register you have to make an appointment to come to the school and pay your registration deposit in cash and i give you a receipt for that 
so i start like every four month increments so today is december the i don't know eight seven i'm not even sure but the next group starts in february the 21st and then it'll be june so every four months every four months two weeks to give us ourselves a break right so you can call me email me and ask me when the next group is starting whenever you see this video and i'll tell you in case something changes but that is how you are going to be able to come here and get your license through me now listen to this you're going to be licensed in texas and i talk fast i want to i got something to do and i don't want this video to be too long so watch it again you you are going to be licensed in the state of texas texas only you're going to take your 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 state board test here you're going to have to take a written test that i'm going to get you through and a, a hands-on practical test you pass those two tests you are licensed in texas by law i have to tell you this if you are a felon and anywhere if you have a felon i have to tell you by law that is you can go to school but it's up to texas to grant you your license at the end but long as i tell you in the beginning i, I did what i'm supposed to do so if you are a felon it may or may not affect you getting your license here so it ain't up to me i don't want to know what you did i just have to tell you by law so if you want to enroll and say okay well you know i done some bad things i don't they don't give me my license or not it don't matter i'm gonna still have my my certificate from state ready she taught me how to do nails i'm gonna go back to where i came from but that doesn't mean you're licensed to do nails okay so if you get your license in texas you go back to trinidad jamaica wherever you come from even in the states you go back to california Florida, wherever, you have to contact that state and say, hey, I'm licensed in Texas as a manicurist. I'm licensed to do nails in Texas. What do I need to do to be licensed here? They're going to tell you. Take another test, maybe, or just pay a fee, and they'll transfer your license from Texas over there. But listen, you'll never lose your Texas license. They can't take your Texas license. You don't have to, so you just got it because you want, wanted it, you want a Texas license. So you'll get a diploma when you finish school here. You have your Texas license. Every two years, though, every two years, you're going to have to renew your Texas license. You don't have to come back to Texas for that. You just go back to their website, pay um, your $50 fee, but you, have to, but you have to do four hours of continuing education hours first. So every two years, when it get close to your date, that your license about to expire is public record so you get all kind of emails phone calls text messages saying hey your license is about to expire <clears throat> you you need to take four hours of continuing education course that ain't in texas either you go online you'll click a link pick a company i think it's the cheapest one i've ever paid is like 17 dollars and you'll click a link, pay that $18, $17, whatever they're going to charge you. You're going to go online and look at some slides. It's all about looking at some slides of sanitation, some diseases and stuff. You'll answer a few little questions and then you'll be done. The four hours of day continuing education hours can be done all at one time, over time, it don't matter. But when you do four hours on their website looking at some slides and stuff, then they'll say, okay, congratulations, you finished. They'll let Texas know, hey, she did her four hours. And then Texas, that's when you'll pay them that $50 and they'll mail you your license. You got to do that every two years. Every two years. Do four hours of continuing education hours, <clears throat> pay another $50. Pay for four hours of continuing education hours, pay another $50. Do that every two years to keep your license in Texas valid. So that is how you are able to get your license in Texas. And that is how you are able to enroll in my school, Stay Readiness Academy, to be a great, smart nail technician. All right? So I will um, pray that I'll see you guys soon, whoever was watching this video. So let someone know about this video. And I thank you guys. And um, thank you.